More Renegade Knight upgrades are in the house. Spiky Bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today we're going to take a look at the latest Knight Renegade upgrade kits from Legio Models. They sent us over a whole ginormous box full of these upgrade kits to check out and put together and review and talk about. And I, I love all the different alternate sculpts and upgrade kits that you can buy from third-party retailers out there. And that's one of the you know things we talk about most here. But these are just like the largest scale ones, so you know to date for any of the kits out there. And they're just really fun to kind of work with and it'll save you a lot of time like sculpting and doing all, all sorts of different things to personalize your, in this case, Imperial Knights. Now, these kits range for the Questor's class range from, you know, 75 to $85, depending. You still need the plastic kit too. So it can get up there in price cost, but if you're going for a specific look or you're like this legion or this knight is my knight then this is you know what makes the hobby great and really what gets us all up in the morning and and wanting to hobby on our stuff because it's our stuff and we want it to look a certain way so that's it that's what i like about the hobby so let's jump over if you haven't already seen they've got a new new ish website legiomodels.com uh, we'll jump over there kind of show you some of the stuff that we're going to actually have on the paint bench today and give you a look at how it actually interfaces with the physical plastic knight itself. Here it is, legiomodels.com. It's actually been redone already. So uh, this is their main landing page and then you can kind of navigate across the top right here. It takes about two weeks to get in once they send the stuff, but it comes pretty quick and it's mostly trackable as far as you know, getting through customs and things here in the States. So we're going to talk about Renegade Knights today. Now, there are a lot more kits out there that we don't have yet, like the, some larger scale kits. Uh, we do have some of the smaller Tiny Knight kits as well. But uh, today we're going to talk about, let's see, we got the War Master Armor Kit. So let's start there because we'll actually show you that kind of laid out here. So you can click on these buttons and get like a better view at, you know, the front profile, kind of the side, like isometric and see all the different parts and things here. Um, than what you're looking at and a little bit more detail on the top carapace there and then it'll tell you like the part readout like everything you get I think it's like 14 different parts give or take and each one's a little bit different depending on what they have up top uh, This kit's $75 and I think we have another one to show you today. That's $85 uh, We got to jump the page here and uh, yeah, it's the undivided kit and this one has the reason they vary sometimes and there are add-on parts which you can get to up here in the weapons and equipment section but right here, you can see where it's got extra parts. Like there's a kind of like a missile launcher type deal here. And then you've got the multi um, melta cannon and uh, the rapid fire battle cannon as well. So that's kind of why there's a little bit of variance there as far as pricing goes. But, you know, it, it, like I said, at the end of the day, it's how you want your knight to look. And when it comes down to like the Renegade stuff, there's some very general chaos looking stuff. And there's some very specific chaos looking stuff too. And... I've got a Renegade Knight here too that we're gonna to try to compare and see if these kits will fit on that as well. So here's that undivided kit that's gonna go for, I think it was $85. And you can kind of see the parts count here. Now they've gotten some better quality resin. Now this is a newer kit and it looks like it's uh, using smooth on resin, which, you know, uh, compared to the resin they used in the past, I mean, it's, it's very similar. But you can definitely see it might be a little bit more crisp. I mean, it's it's really hard to tell. It's apples to apples at this point. I do have, let's see, we do have this guy right here. And we'll just kind of compare uh, top carapaces there. But, I mean, it still looks crisp. Either way, uh, it's really hard to tell if it, you know, maybe is uh, that much better. But... Uh, as far as design goes, I think I think it's very well done. Everything is in multiple parts here, and uh, let's see. So this is this one over here, and that sockets into those little holes right there. So when you glue that on, it looks uh, pretty fresh. And then you've got all the different plates and things, the uh, tabards. You got one head. The shoulder pads themselves are going to be, you know, one exact same one because they're symmetrical. Uh, different legs there, chest armor plate. You've got the two different parts right here for um, the shooty gun. And there's your ion shield and different things. So, you know, overall, it's it's pretty much what it is right here. Now, let's see, since I got this guy here, this is a renegade knight. And let's try 
and it looks like it fits. So the and then you have to glue on the uh, the little smokestacks right there. But it looks like as far as that goes, those will fit. Now let's see if the hope that goes like that. So those will fit too. And one more to check. Oh, did I glue that on or did I not? I did not. Cool. I'm so smart sometimes. So this isn't exactly going to hook in the same way because this is designed for the Questeris, but you might be able to glue it straight on. And yep, it looks like all of these will definitely still work with the Night Renegade uh, new plastic ah, new plastic kit from GW. So that's a, that's pretty cool to know, to be quite honest. Now your uh, front here, I didn't glue that on, but that is going to be the battle cannon. Let's try that as well. So that looks to work too. So lots and lots of cool things here. Um, well, once I find out which way is up. There, that way is up. Okay, well, stop it. I, I got, I need more putty, but it will fit on there. You can see it's a flush against the back right there. So it looks like overall they're all going to work um, for the new Renegade Night Kit, which is pretty cool. They also sent over uh, an older kit. This is the Nurgle or Rotten Armor kit, and we showed you this before, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but I did want to showcase it because this one's a little bit different. It's got this, like, this big chunky shoulder pad here, two different shoulder pads. I really like this head. It's like a kind of a typhus, like uh, corrosion type head right here that just kind of pop, you know, pops on to the model. And it's got this rotten tabard and of course the two uh, weapon armor plates right there. And then, you know, the slot for whatever upgrades and stuff. Now, I, I really like this one. Um, I think they sent it over because they, they want me to paint it, paint it up. So I, I just might <laughs> at the end of the day. But another great kit, $75 kit from them, the uh, rotten armor. And last, but certainly not least, is the War Master kit here. And I got this one assembled, so I wanted to show it to you um, just because I thought it was uh, probably a good idea to assemble one of these. But you can see everything fits on just fine. And of course, this is probably going to sock it into the Renegade Knight that we showed you earlier as well. But lots of great detail on here. And you can see it in their, you know, on their website too in all their 3D animations, which you can see where it's kind of got a little bit of uh, chaos inside right there. Great helmet, got the ion shield, the weapon. There's actually two of these. Um, whoops, but that's where the uh, the Melta Melta goes. And then this socket's in right here, but I just don't have it set up for that right this second. Uh, so a great kit. And then they have, I don't know if this is more stuff coming or some custom stuff, but they also sent me some Iron Warrior shoulder plates, which uh, which are very cool. And then some, some uh, Hydra and uh, some Burning Legion ones as well. So lots of uh, lots of cool possibilities out there. I don't always see the stuff on their site. So maybe it's just kind of some one-offs and uh, different things they kind of sent over, but lots of great upgrade options either way, any way you look at it over there, whether it comes to, you know, optional parts, the kits themselves, or, and now we know they work with the Renegade kit or the normal Questeris kit here. So like I said, it's exciting to get the kits to be exactly the way you want it for your hobby. And for a little bit of scratch, well, that will get you whichever kit you're kind of looking for. And they're pretty much all over there at this point. And they're always coming out with new ones. Sometimes I get them in and I can't even find them on the site. And I'm like, they're like, oh, we redid it. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find this kit no more, but here it is. But none, none of these, they're all over there on the site. So make sure you check them out, legiomodels.com today. Uh, great, great resin upgrade kits, and they have a full bus. They have actually banners as well that you can pick up. Um, I don't think they're in the shopping cart. You might have to mention it to them or something or message them on their uh, Facebook group. But you can see I got a nice uh, Emperor's Protectors little banner back there now too. So that was, those are for my custodies. They might not be meta, but I'm still going to play them. So that's it for this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching this video today. We'll see you next time.